everyone, this is Nanar Sanimakin and welcome back to Zero Zero Ex Zero Escape Time Dilemma. Goodness sakes, I can't even spell or talk properly. Okay, in the last episode we had we had to deal we had to deal. We got one ending. <laughs> we got the freedom ending. And then we got um, the route for C team and the Q team on the voting on the voting situation. So now we're going to D team to do the voting situation, which I hope will not be as drastic as that one. Why does she look like Luna? She looks like Luna in the third game. I mean, second game, third game. The android. Hopefully it's not what I think it is. Are you ever gonna finish your food? And did you finish your homework? You don't wanna be a bad girl now, do you? Give me that homework. Oh god. When a curious hate oozes calamity hmm so a moment when hate becomes calamity huh when one sparks I wonder what that thing. means oh, good, that's beats me maybe it's not supposed to have a meaning huh I? it's an anagram you reorganize the letters into another sentence why do you think it's an anagram you sound like a grand. I've seen something like this before in another place. In another place. Anyway, where's Sigma? Kissing the box. <laughs> what are you looking at? A box. He's what kind of box? Him. Well, I'm looking into it because I don't know. I Looks like much something's more sexy. written on it. Force quit box. Hmm. That's interesting. I see a keyboard on it too. Okay. Use this keyboard to input a password and force something to stop. A life? Is that what this means? What does it stop? Well, the obvious answer would be the game Zero is making us play. Then we should try it. What are you gonna put in then? <sighs> I shouldn't have thought it would be that easy. We need a hint. Maybe it says something on the underside. Nope. Won't budge. What? Is it heavy? Heavy doesn't even begin to cover it. I doubt it's made out of anything from Earth. Well, you are getting up there, Sigma. <laughs> what do you say? My body's still got it. Old man. I'll just give it a try. You weren't lying. Oh, you, See, how are you to, I told you. How are you two not able to open that and the kid open, can carry that? This how? is the map for Ward D, right? Looks like it. How was the kid able to carry that and you two can't even open it or carry it? How? This doesn't make any sense. Q must be some sort of Super Mario. And we can go wherever we want so long as it's within this ward? Yeah. Yes. That's what Zero said. What's with all the facilities, anyway? Prep room. Decontamination room. Healing room. What am I gonna heal my brain? <gasps> that room again. Transporter room. Manufacturing. Are you gonna make suits to go outside? Trash disposal room. Again? Again all right. with the locker room. We've checked all the rooms from top to bottom, but you didn't find any exits? Obviously. We are in a bomb shelter, after all. 
If there were several exits, it'd defeat the purpose it was built for. So Zero told the truth. Then opening the X door is the only way out. There's no point. We wouldn't hear a drunk toga party at full volume on the other side. <laughs> I think we need six passwords to get this door to open, right? Yeah, that X pass thing. For every one person who dies, one password will be revealed. Is that true, though? Sigma, why don't you try dying once? Sigma! I politely but firmly refrain. What about you, Diana? Hey! Uh, no. Figured. You first. <laughs> She's crazy. Even in the last game. Um, may I ask you guys something? What's up? Who is Zero? Again with this question. Who do you think Zero is? Do you guys know who Zero is? No, I haven't the foggiest. But they called themselves Zero. At the very least, they know about what happened a year ago. What are you... There's one more thing for sure. Think about it. Why was Zero's speech to us pre-recorded? He's in the game. There's got to be a very big reason why things can't be in real time. There are two possibilities. They've already bit the bullet. Or... Zero is among us. Fi? Do you think someone will come help us? Nope, I doubt it. Like who? Maybe the DCOM experiment staff? Sorry, but that's pretty unlikely. Wait, how did you guys Remember? survive food? The staff stationed in DCOM can't communicate with us right now. The simulation is attempting to stay true to an actual Mars mission. It's at least six months between Earth and Mars. In that time period, Earth will have rotated halfway around the Sun. Which means... By the time the spaceship reaches Mars, the Earth is behind it. With the star in the way, we can't send a signal. That's the lead-up. We've been doing experiments for the past five days. What the heck? Transmissions will re-establish on December 31st at 2330, which leaves us with more than 10 hours. There's no point in hoping for a rescue to come before then. Pretty sure the DCOM staff won't notice any problems until that time. <laughs> you guys are like siblings. You're totally in sync. Never mind. The way Sigma talks. This may be somewhat rude of me to say, but the way you talk, Sigma, is um a little unusual. Because he's an old man. Forgive him. The age of his mind and his body are completely different. Oh, he mentioned that back at DCOM. That his consciousness had come back from the year 2074. That's correct. So what, That's why I know what will happen in the future. I must have spent the past five days warning all of you. If nothing changes, mankind will be destroyed. Kane, Fai, and I infiltrated DCOM to stop all that from happening. Fai? Is this true? Well, would you believe me if I said that it was? This is a weird but look at why it. are all of us trapped in this strange place? I love her eyes. You know the future. Then you could have prevented it. We had no idea what events went down inside the decom facility. Nor did we know anything about what's going to happen in this shelter. Yep. That's what they were sent here. Back in time. Why did this have to happen to me? I should have never listened to Rebecca. Rebecca, Rebecca. again? She's the head nurse at the hospital where I worked. Oh, right. 
You did say you were a nurse. I joined the DCOM experiment because Rebecca suggested it to me. She told me that they were searching for a nurse willing to participate. Well, to be honest, there is another reason why I decided to join. The money? Dog! Gab! Gab! Why is Gab here? What's his name? I think he came through the vent. Is See anything? Gab? No. Not it's Gabriel? too dark. You're up, Fi. You want me to go in there? <laughs> it's clearly impossible. You sure? I won't repeat myself. Um, my boobs are D's. <laughs> Your pants are on fire. It's true. It seems to me they've gotten a full size larger than the last time you told me. It's been 45 years. <laughs> you were just sleeping. Um, could I interrupt? Yes. <laughs> what is this? Is that a coaster? Something's written on it. Hello, Carlos here. C team is voting for D team. So D team should vote for Q team and Q team for C team. And someone else wrote Q team. Got it. I get it. By spreading out the votes, they're suggesting we make it a tie. So we have to vote for Looks like Q team, Q -team agreed. Seems so. I guess Gab passed through Ward C to Ward Q and ended up here. It'll work! Now none of the teams will have to die. But someone has to hmm. die. I wonder about that. What? The deadline to vote is in three minutes. Damn, we don't have much time. We need to head over to the voting device. Yeah, we're all gonna run like chickens. So what exactly did you mean earlier, Fi? I'm saying it could be a lie. Do you mean that Q Team is planning to betray us? No, I doubt it. If that's what they intended. They didn't have to send Gap. They'd only have to decide to vote for D Team. Then you mean. There's a chance that C Team will betray us. Maybe they're saying they'll vote for D Team. But actually vote for Q team. Come on. But why would they do that? To make us choose Q team. If you think it's a good idea to spread out the votes, then your choice is easy, right? I'm just saying. It's a possibility. Oh my god. The deadline to vote is in one minute. Come on! What should I do? Just vote! The fact that Gab showed up means that we can assume Q team's voting for C team. So we have no choice but to choose Q team. Otherwise, our single vote could cause the death of all of C team. <laughs> She's nervous as heck. She looks like that nurse, that robotic nurse. We're sticking to the plan. I want to see more spread out, um, butterfly effect. What do you call that? Tree. Your vote has been accepted. Well, that was a good choice. Do you think it'll be okay? So long as Gab's note was the truth. All we could do was trust them. We're dead, I suppose. Ninety minutes have passed. Your time limit has ended. Okay. Sleep well, as the next game will begin when you awake. Unfortunately, the team who receives two votes will be unable to participate. One final thing. You've gone through with the vote exactly as I commanded. How would you know that? You deserve a reward for obeying. The memory loss drug will not be injected into the theater. When you next wake, those who survive will be able to regret the decision. As all members of a single team will perish as a result of the note you entered. Okay. Pleasant dreams.
Bye. <laughs> Just knock out dead. Oh boy, this is so nervous. Oh, I'm so worried about that kid. Hold on, I gotta check on something. Okay, back. Okay, I'm very, 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 very worried for Q team because of the kid. Oh. Uh. Oh my! What is this? What is that? <gasps> Crossbow? No! <laughs> That's a very small face I have. Oh no, crossbow. <gasps> Did you kill somebody here? I want you to finish this. Yeah. Football. What the heck? Where am I gonna jump to? Oh my god, wait, is this different for everyone? Oh, are you kidding me? What on earth is this? Oh my god, I can't wait to see a chainsaw. Poker. Or snooker. Snooky. What is this? You, not the football. Draw your face. What? Is this Russian roulette? Oh no. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Fi, you're going to be an idiot at the end of this. Wait, let's see the flow chart. Oh my god, what is this? It looks a lot smaller, but it's still a lot of choices. What on earth? <gasps> oh my god. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. Oh man, there's too many. Can it count? Mother, you can't count. What's with this? Oh, we're still alive, not dead yet. Oh no! <laughs> ah no! Oh man, I fear for my life now. Q! No, I really want to kill this guy off. I really want this guy away. My game is a pig. Oink, oink. Oh, man. Mother is a pig. Oink, oink. Okay. This is the long chart. Oh. Okay, a little bit longer chart. Oh. I'd like to choose the shortest one first. Hope I don't have emotional imbalance right here. Mama. You're supposed to draw our faces. First come, first saved. What? Let us so out! Small. Let us out of here! How long are you planning on doing that? Until he breaks Bang all you want, it won't open. <sighs> Damn it. Just take a second, calm down. We need cool heads. Hey! What the hell are you doing? I'm sorry! Do you know what that button does? Well, no, but... Maybe 
the door opens with it. I... I really wasn't going to push it, though. <sighs> Kids are a pain. You're a pain! But he could have a very good point. We haven't heard anything from Zero. Just sitting around here is useless. Maybe just one tiny push? You crazy hey, lady! Mira! Just kidding. I'm not that reckless. <sighs> don't scare me like that. But Jeez. we really don't know much at all. We may be at the point of crazy decisions. The Ready. only thing we know for sure is what time it is. 18.08. It must have been around 13.30 when we fell asleep in the lounge. So, uh... Four and a half hours? Out. Wow, you calculated that fast. And at your age, even. <laughs> well, was it good? Yeah. I was just about to say the same thing. You ass! Seems you still have that problem with numbers, Eric. I recall you having trouble calculating change when we first met. Hey, come on now. Dating simulation. Is that how you two met? I want to hear, I want to hear. <laughs> yeah, my face has got to be all red. <laughs> oh, I still funny. remember every detail. Ah, no, I don't want to hear it. The encounter was on a Monday. The sky that morning in Nebraska was full of thick clouds, though the gloom cleared in an instant, like a miracle. Okay. What is this? I always mustered up my best smile for customers. Even the boring the regulars I was tired of seeing. I still offered the most delicious ice cream to them. Ice cream vendor. I was getting sick of it, though. Oh, now, don't think it was my work I was unsatisfied with. I really, truly love ice cream. But as the days passed, everything felt hollow. As if there was a hole in my heart. Are you Pinocchio? I thought it was just another normal day. I wasn't expecting the moment it changed. I couldn't melons? believe my eyes. The melons? I didn't think such a beautiful sight existed in this world. My god, the feelings that hit me. I'd never felt anything like that before. What is this that story? Was when I realized this this had to be a miracle. Mm -hmm. Mira entered my life. She was an angel that looked like a customer. This story is weird. Uh, shouldn't it be the other way? <laughs> details aren't important. You look like you don't understand. Well, I don't blame you. I didn't get it either. Mira was just such a vivacious vision of beauty. I was just a lowly ice cream shop employee. Next to that, there was no way I would be a good match. I'm face palming myself every two seconds. Cut it out. Me, an angel? <laughs> you gotta be kidding. But it's true. You really are an angel to me, Mira. Yeah, have you finished homework? We're talking in front of a kid! <laughs> We're talking in front of a kid! <laughs> Weirdos! Uh, it's like you're a completely different person now, Eric. Huh? Well, earlier you were being... Your face was pretty scary. Did I frighten you that much? Oh, yeah! Yeah. Oh. Gosh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, it's okay. You were probably just rattled about what's happened to us. I could tell you were a nice person under all that. Everybody is. <laughs> what are you... You're an odd duck. You're an odd duck! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you've gone back to your dopey expression again. I guess you calmed down, huh? Dopey? <laughs> Man, you're really harsh, Mira. Finished the draw, but yeah, you draw that I'm okay now. That's right. I'm fine. All right. I can definitely smile no matter what. You guys are weird. This group is weird. I want the kid alone, not these two. These two is weird. Hmm. I wonder why Zero decided to lock us up in here anyway. Right. Seems like too much effort for it to be just a joke. Footprints. A lot of money was pumped into this whole thing. Maybe Pumped. all of this is supposed to be part of the GCOM experiment? 
They wanted to investigate how a closed space affected change on emotions, right? But then why did they want normal people like us to apply? It's not normal. Wouldn't you want people in helpful professions to go to Mars? Like military officials, researchers, other skilled professionals like that. Maybe the reason they chose civilian subjects is... because they're planning to send those kinds of people to Mars in the future. Hmm, huh, that sounds right. Strangers living together on Mars for an extended period of time? What kind of problems would that bring? How would the subjects figure out solutions to the resulting troublesome situations? According to the DCOM staff, that's what the experiment was trying to determine. How do you like know the so chair bound much? old man. He put us in a difficult position on purpose to observe how we'd get out. The sponsor is a civilian organization that hopes to expand business worldwide. Maybe they expect to be part of a colonization of Mars in the future. What are we at? Colonizing Mars? Is this kid even getting anything? Hey, have you ever heard this before? If you want to transport live koi from Brazil to Japan, putting only koi fish in an aquarium will result in most of them dying. By adding something to that same container, you won't lose a single one. Salt? What is it? A piranha. What? A piranha. But how does that even work? I guess their self-preservation instincts kick in. What? I get it. I don't. The fish become so afraid of the piranha that they make an effort to live. That nervous state becomes the power to keep them alive. Uh huh. In order to survive, you need that sense of urgency. Uh, I see. I don't. So, for an actual Mars mission, it'd be a good idea to have a murderer on the crew, huh? Are you crazy now? Kidding! <laughs> Eric. Don't say scary things like that. Oh, so maybe all this stuff is something similar. Living quietly in DCOM becomes boring, so the emotional state will fade. If you intentionally inject a sense of emergency... A little late, perhaps, but I will now announce the voting results. No one died? All three groups have voted for different teams. Therefore, Oh, my God. I can't say this is an ideal situation for many of us involved. It appears that none of you fully grasp the essence of this game. Uh-huh. Think back to the rules you were told. You will remain in the shelter for eternity until six people are killed. I will give you one last chance. A single action from you may result in your escape from the depths. What must you do? It's simple. I shall show you. Okay. The other two teams are listening to a message just like this one. In their ward's decontamination room. What? Of all of them are the same. Yep. A yellow button exists on the wall in each. Pressing it activates the showers in the other wards, and they will rain down the solution of hydrogen fluoride. <gasps> no! It's not only acidic enough to melt a body, but it even dissolves glass and iron. You hear what would happen if you were under it seems unnecessary. You really? All is your way to freedom. Using it will kill the other teams, and you will obtain the needed X passes to escape. I have one final thing to tell you. Huh. The early bird gets the worm. After the first team pushes it, the button will become inactive for both of the other teams. Your time limit is three minutes. I'm one! What will you do? Will you press it? Refuse! It is ultimately all up to you to decide. Refuse. Just gonna refuse! What the no, heck? We gotta hurry or we'll die! Are you insane? Uh, don't worry. We need to trust the others. The others, you say? What the hell do you know? 
<laughs> hey, stop! <laughs> Where did the nice Eric go? Shut the hell up, you fucking brat! Wh why, Eric? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> you <Yeah. hit> him? <laughs> At least he's quiet now. I'll leave the rest of this up to you. Huh? It'll be interesting to see how you handle this. Wh what? Don't press! I want everyone alive! I want everybody alive! I want to see what happens if I can keep everybody alive. I'm not gonna press! I'm not gonna press! Seems like the other teams didn't press it either. I... I am so glad. <sighs> Are we... safe? <laughs> when are you awake? Who knows? Mira? <laughs> are you crazy yet? What? Watch where you're staring! It seems there may be a misunderstanding, so I shall clear it up for you. I never said the showers would activate as soon as the button was pressed. Which means, you've yet to learn whether the button has been activated by someone or not. What? Then... We'll have to wake up to find out if we're alive or not. Now, it's time for you to sleep. I'm just gonna keep everybody alive. Now, you will have no memory of these past nine events. Pleasant dreams. <laughs> no! He was just knocked out before! <laughs> Knock out again. <laughs> oh man, this game is interesting. I want to do that to every team now. <laughs> okay, we'll go to the same one. Oh my god, this is interesting. <laughs> first come, first saved. Damn. Won't even budge. How strong are Does you, Bye? Does that mean it's locked? Yeah, seems that way. So that means we're trapped, huh? Where are we? We're the decontamination heaven. room? That's how it's labeled on the map. There are showers in here? You need to wash all contaminants off after you return from outside. Well, in the case of nuclear war, of course. Which Five. means there are two exits heading to the surface. Here, and the X door in the lounge. You're right. It looks like there's a hall to an elevator outside. I don't see how they're connected on the map, but it must be there. Okay. Then let's escape through that door. How, how exactly do you propose that... Looks like it's been welded shut. Maybe it'll open if we push that yellow button over there. Don't push it's it! not just here that it's welded shut. Then what exactly is it for? Don't push it! Should we try pushing it? No! It's clearly suspect. Better not. Right. 1809. The anesthetic was injected after the vote. Around... 1330. So we've been asleep for almost four and a half hours. Um, that might not be true. Right. Zero did say. Once 90 minutes are up, an injector in your bracelet will activate. Okay. An anesthetic and an agent to erase your memories will be administered. That means we could have woken up and fallen asleep several times since then. But we just don't remember any of it. I wonder what the results of the voting are. It's highly unlikely that C-Team was able to survive. Why? You even have to ask? 
Diana voted against the plan on the note and chose C Team. Whoa, wait, hold up. What are you saying? I thought Diana voted for Q Team. Isn't that right? I'm sorry. I. Well, I. I don't really remember. What? How is that possible? How could you forget? After the vote at 13.30, he told us we wouldn't be injected with the amnesia meds. Right, I remember it exactly. Diana had chosen to vote for Q-Team. No! I know for sure that she definitely voted for C-Team. What? Nonsense, you must be out of it. You're the one out of it, you senile old fart. What? No. Wait. Don't tell me. Jumped? What? You jump? What Did you Sigma jump was by? going on about back in DCOM? Well, it's all true. Oh, when he was saying mankind would be destroyed? What did he mean exactly? Do you mind explaining? Please. Even if I did, I don't think you'd believe me. It's highly likely you won't even understand. Just explain it anyway. You see, the things Sigma and I have been through are, um, complicated and mysterious. Does that mean your consciousness came from the future? 2074? Yes, but that's not exactly right. Sigma and I both originated from the current world of 2028. Our consciousnesses were sparked by a specific event into jumping forward to 2074. We returned to April 2029, where we lived 45 years normally through time. In January 2074, our two consciousnesses were booted to the past again and essentially ended up at this point in time, Christmas of 2028. You've jumped so many times. <laughs> Look at your face. See, you don't understand, do you? It doesn't have to make sense. You only need to believe us. About what happens in the future? Yep. Correct. I have to know then. Why was mankind destroyed? It's not exactly destroyed. It isn't as if there aren't any survivors left. But a large number are... Yes, the dead number, six billion. What did we do? It's all because of Radical Six. A horrific virus that affects the human brain. It spread quickly worldwide, and humanity began heading to extinction. The location the virus originated at was the experimental facility, DECOM. That was what we were told, anyway. Some what? of the information appears to be incorrect, though. How so? This is just a guess, but... I think Radical 6 wasn't leaked from DECOM. I've got a feeling it came from this shelter instead. Regardless, back then we believed it all started at DECOM. So we infiltrated the facility as subjects to prevent the release of the virus. With Akane's help. Akane? She's the leader of a secret group called Crash Keys that wants to save the world. Using the organization's assets, we hacked the admin server. And altered the original subject list and data. I... I see. You don't. I mean, it all seems so fake. I could hardly keep up with all of it. We're not lying. It's true. All right, then. <laughs> oh my God. I'd like to go back for a second. Phi, you said you jumped earlier, right? Yeah. Does that mean... She jumped. Game. I can't say this is an ideal situation for many of us involved. It appears 
fears that none of you fully grasp the essence of this game. Think back on the rules you were told. You will remain in the shelter for eternity until six people are killed. I'll give you one last chance. A single action from you may result in your escape from the depths. What must you do? It's simple. I shall show you. Her little thing in the back of my hair. Wait, don't! I'm doing it to protect you two! What? It's not to escape. Of course, I don't want to kill the other teams. But if we don't act, we're the ones who die. It's not for certain. No one pushes it before three minutes are up. But if we wait, all three teams will be killed. The acid will melt even our bones, and all that's left will wash down the drain. Is that how you want to reunite? To hug and cry together in the train? What the Why heck? Then we wouldn't even be able to see or hold them. Wait, wait, Sigma! Please calm down! How could I possibly do that? Someone on another team could be pushing the button right now as we speak. Just listen, please! Zero did say that we had three minutes. But he never said what would happen once the time limit ended. She's right. Three minutes is just a space of time. There's still a chance nothing will happen after the deadline is over. It must mean that we're being tested to see how much we all trust. Please believe, Sigma. Trust the other teams. Oh boy, this is so confusing! I'm not gonna press it. I am seriously not gonna press it. Time to decide, ladies and gents. Nothing. I'm not gonna press. Not even one button. Not one button. Huh. Still heartbreaking. <laughs> Nothing's happening. Not yet. Yeah. See? I told you, didn't I? Not yet. None of the others push the button. So that's proof that the other teams can be trusted to cooperate. Not yet. It seems there may be a misunderstanding, so I shall clear it up for you. I never said the showers would activate as soon as the button is pressed. Which means... You've yet to learn whether the button has been activated by someone or not. What? And when? Then the anesthetic will... <clears throat> I get it now. Don't tell me we'll be asleep when... Now, it is time for you to sleep. When next you wake, know that you will have no memory of these past nine minutes. Pleasant. I'm not gonna press any button. No button. I want this to be a nice, 
Save clean game. Wait, I'm gonna save first. Ugh, this is this is really making my head ring. Green room. Oh boy. First come, first serve. Uh, saved, sorry. Wonder what the result will be if I end up saving everybody. This is called if the I decontamination can. room? I think you're supposed to clean off after returning from the surface. Well, that was for when there was a nuclear war and the world was contaminated. Oh, uh, that explains your shower heads. <clears throat> oh, just as I thought. This won't open either. Jump, hey. The map shows an elevator hall beyond this door. If we came down the elevator normally, we'd be able to run into this room immediately, but... What about that? It's connected to the lounge. I checked it earlier, but no dice. Locked up tight. Do you oh. think Zero trapped us in here to make us play the decision game? Yes. It's pretty obvious at this point. 1810. Huh? I think it was about 1330 when we finished voting and the drug put us to sleep. So that means we were napping like toddlers for four and a half hours. Junpei, what? I have something I've been wanting to ask you. What? During the vote earlier, you told Carlos. Come on, Carlos, vote for Q-Team. Yeah, what about it? What about? How could you be so horrible? You used to... You'd never have said that a year ago. Oh, like you're one to talk. What? <clears throat> what? What happened to you, Junpei? What happened while I was gone? I'd like to know more about you, too. What's that, Carlos? Does that mean you're interested in me? <laughs> no. My focus is my little sister. Got no time for a love life. Heh. <laughs> so our hero of justice has a sister complex. Oh, come on! Junpei! Carlos really is worried about you- Well, it's more I want to know about you both. Weren't you friends as kids? And last year you were trapped just like this. And escape together. Not exactly. So why? Why the animosity, you mean? That's exactly why. Junpei. I've seen people die. Horrible, cruel deaths I never wanted to see. So many. I'm probably becoming numb. What did the guitar? <laughs> After what happened last year, I quit school and joined a detective firm. Oh uh, yeah. man. What made you want to do that? It was all because of Akane there. She up and disappeared, so I went to a firm to try and find her. It's small, but known to work among the underground. <laughs> I've snuck into places running human organ trafficking like they're trading cookies. Saw a co-worker I'd just finished eating with pushed off a rooftop the other day. Never had a by-the-books case where I just had to prove he cheated. Every job that passed my hands was dirty and dangerous. That's when I realized, humans aren't as beautiful as I thought. What the heck? I'd only been skimming the surface all this time. So every day, after work, I'd drink myself to sleep. I slept in my bathtub with the shower running. It was the only way I was able to get the scent of blood off me. But last month, finally, finally. I got intel through our network that Akane was joining this experiment. So that's why you came to DCOM. Yeah, I threatened those in charge and forced my way in. Why did you join this experiment, you crazy lady? Like always. Hello, armpit. Kitty kitty. Akane? So, uh, Akane, how's Santa? Uh, I mean, Aoi. My brother. I heard about Ace. He's stuck in jail if he hasn't escaped yet. What? Lotus is doing all right. She's working and raising her kids still. <gasps> Who told you this? That detective guy, Seven. Ah, 
Seven! I worked with him once. We destroyed Free the Soul's headquarters. Destroyed? Hey, uh, what's Free the Soul? Seven under cult. seven! <laughs> They're a freaky terrorist organization who never stop trying to create their new world. Oh God. They abducted my brother and I ten years ago. And the game we played last year was related to that big kidnapping case. My brother and I were trying to track Free the Soul's movements, but... What? You were too, Junpei? I came across some info on them while I was working. Seven was the one still on their trail. <gasps> Seven! But I kind of think we went too far by destroying their headquarters. I'm pretty sure we pissed off their boss. I, I think his name was Brother. What? So wait, you're saying this Zero the Second has something to do with him? It's in the third You know game. anything about it, Akane? I already told you, I'm not connected to this. I don't know why this person is calling themselves Zero. Why don't you enlighten us as to why you joined DCOM, Akane? Junpei. Someone using that name has thrown us into a similar game. No way you can ask me to believe they're unrelated. Stop it, Junpei. From don't what I me. can tell, Akane's the victim. I'm here to change the future. Huh? Free the Soul is currently attempting to implement a terrifying plan. I infiltrated the experiment to stop that. So you knew that this game would happen? I don't know. I didn't know any specifics about all of this. But you just said it's to change the future. A very distant future. So you access the morphogenetic field and... D hold up. What are you talking about? Exactly. <laughs> Poor guy. You're leaving him in the dark. And then when we're finished, this is all gonna be gone again! Ah! Uh, why do you have to interrupt now? Exactly! <laughs> Zero. I'm still gonna be stubborn. I can say this is an ideal situation for many of us involved. It appears that none of you fully grasp the essence of this game. Think back on the rules you were told. You will remain in the shelter for eternity until six people are killed. Come on! I will give you one last chance. A single action from you may result in your escape from the depths. What must you do? It's simple. I shall show you. I still think Eric is a psychopath in this whole game. Maybe he's the one. The other two teams are listening to a message just like this one. In their ward's decontamination room. What? The construction of all of them are the same. A yellow button exists on the wall in each. Oh, that thing. Pressing it activates the showers in the other wards, and they will rain down a solution of hydrogen fluoride. Hydrogen fluoride? Yep. It's not only acidic enough to melt a body, but it even dissolves glass and iron. Explaining what would happen if you were under it seems unnecessary. That button on the wall is your way to freedom. Nope. Using it will kill the other teams, and you will obtain the needed X passes to escape. I have one final thing to tell you. What? The early bird gets the word. Uh. After the first team pushes it, the button will become inactive for both of the other teams. Your time limit is three minutes. What will you do? Will you press it or refuse? We're dead. It is ultimately all I'm afraid we're Junpei right here. Isn't it obvious? No. Junpei! Wait! Let's think about this! Get out of my way, Akane. We need to push the button before the other teams do. What are you saying, Junpei? Are you really planning to sacrifice everyone else so you can escape? It's to survive. It's kill or be killed. So we need to make sure to kill them first. What's wrong with this dude? Junpei, I'm here and you've changed so much. Uh! Junpei! Are you serious? Damn you, do you want to die? You're yes. okay with never seeing your sister again? Maria. No way in hell I'm dying! I 
cannot go through everything just to die today. You are ah. insane. Oh. <laughs> I'm no, not don't, it. Carlos. If none of the teams push it, then it has to be like when we voted. Well, you're wishing on a star. We'll end up killed. Junpei! Push it, Carlos! Why is everyone telling me to push it? When they all are walking, they can just crawl on the floor and push it. They can all just go towards it and push it. Oh, no, you have to boss me around. Nope, I'm not gonna push no damn button. Thank you! It's been three minutes. Does that mean none of the teams... It has to mean no one pushed it! Oh, that was the longest 180 <laughs> seconds ever. <laughs> You're telling me. I'm nearly drowning in my own sweat. <laughs> like I practically had that acid bath already. Shut up. It seems there may be a misunderstanding, so I shall clear it up for you. I never said the showers would activate as soon as the button was pressed. Which means... You've yet to learn whether the button has been activated by someone or not. What? No! Yep. Then when will we... Less than a minute left before we're knocked out. That means... Yep. So you're saying we won't even know until we're already melted into goo? Now, it is time for you to sleep. Bye. When next you wake, know that you will have no memory of these past nine minutes. Pleasant dreams. Sister. I'm still thinking about Carl's sister. What's his sister gonna do with this? Oh boy, wait, let's see the floor. What? Are we going on the right route? Oh my gosh. Excuse me. Oh yeah, we're going all on the right route. But then, I need to know the other paths of the thing too, isn't it? Okay, we'll just do one scenario of something else. I still feel sorry for the kids, so... Oh god. Okay, we'll do another one with them together again. This one. And... Uh, We'll do it. start from there. How much I have? Not that one. It's almost finished though. Maybe I'll just save it here. So yeah. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it and want to see the next part, just simply wave your wand like a sorcerer and hit the like button and subscribe button to watch the next part. Uh, and uh, wait, let me finish saving. Oh man, this game is getting me crazy. I haven't played this game in a long time. <sighs> <sighs> Memories. Until then, this is Nightmare. Hang on.